annual Fillmore Jazz Festival kicked off today in San Francisco. It is the largest jazz festival on the West Coast, and KTV's Betty Yu got to check out the festivities. Music fans got to the Fillmore Jazz Festival early to stake out a prime spot Saturday in front of one of the main stages. We come every year, um, but love the festivities. We always have a good time, lots of people, just good, happy vibes. It gets packed. I'm talking about wall-to-wall -wall people. This year, the festival is celebrating its 35th anniversary. The theme is Harlem of the West, to honor the neighborhood's rich cultural history, dating back to the 1940s, when jazz clubs hosted major musical talents. A lot of the artists here are based here in the Bay Area, and, you know, they've been performing for so many years. A couple of them are actually Grammy winners as well. And, you know, you'll get to experience, you know, the feeling of the 1940s uh, jazz renaissance. Um, you know, each stage has its own, you know, personality. More than 100 vendors line Fillmore Street between Jackson and Eddie, featuring handmade crafts, jewelry, clothing, and food. You gotta have a bite. This takes me right to Thanksgiving. Yes, yes, it's one of our, we sell a lot of sweet potato uh, pecan pies. Tedra Rose, who owns the third generation Mommy Helen's Bakery, drove from Southern California to participate. She counts Magic Johnson, Shaq, and other celebrities as fans. It's just the atmosphere, the fact that, again, it's a free festival, so everyone can walk through and bring their families and listen to good music. The free two-day festival, which is presented by the Fillmore Merchants Association, gives local small businesses a chance to showcase their work. Azeal Boutique in Hayes Valley makes its jewelry in San Francisco. It's cool to keep coming back and kind of seeing the growth and change, especially post-pandemic. It's still thriving, so that's nice to see. The festival here on Fillmore Street continues through Sunday at 6 p.m. In San Francisco, Betty Yu, KTVU, Fox 2 News.